It's Mac the Guru. This is my review for The Godfather of Harlem Season 2, Episode 3, The Fruit Stand Riot. Now, we seeing something that we know exists. That same garbage excuse, stop resisting. That's what they do. That's what they always blame it on. You know, and we just got to keep, this stuff is just motivation for me. Whenever I see stuff like that, I'm like, nah, I got to get in position to help my people more. You know what I'm saying? I didn't gave back before in my lifetime, a few times for sure, but I want to get in position where I can really make a difference. You see what I'm saying? And when I see stuff like what happened on this episode with the cops beating down the kids, they beat up Cecil, the shoe shine dude who just came over, he a man. You know what I'm saying? He just coming over to, to break things up. And they beat him down. I'm just, I don't know if he lost his eye, but it was completely shut, right? And they saying, yo, they need medical attention. They need medical attention. And a lot of black people done been through this all throughout this history, you know? And like, just got to fight back. And that's what Malcolm trying to do. That's what Bumpy doing. Like, shout out to Bumpy. And that's why you got to respect the gangsters with direction. Because that's what Bumpy is. Bumpy a gangster with direction. Because a lot of times, the dudes that be in the streets, that be our warrior class. But they just ain't got direction. We got to grab them and, and get them direction. Because they, them be our warrior classes, really. You know what I mean? All the guys that end up in jail and, you know, out, some of them just be out here on some goofy stuff because they ain't got no direction. They got to have direction. And then they'll be the ones that are actually fight back because they got that mentality of, no, nah, it ain't going to go however you think it's going to go. That's, that's the mentality Bumpy got. That's why Bumpy stand up, you see? But he got direction. Him and Malcolm. Now, Malcolm versus Elijah. Oh, my God, man. Every time I see another episode, it's just like, ah, here we go. Here we go again. Rest in peace to DMX. But every time I see an episode, they, they going at it, and it's like, I'm trying to understand the different mentalities, right? And that's what it really come down to. And Malcolm moved on to stretch out on his own. And Malcolm should have just been able to get the support financially for him to do what he was supposed to do. And people were supposed to stop hating on Malcolm. The problem is Malcolm, his energy and just how he was, his conversation, how he spoke. He would have been the biggest, um, you know, leader since Marcus Garvey. Real talk. But I think, that, you know, it was just so much people really didn't want that. Now, on the Elijah Muhammad side, I understand what he's thinking too. Because he's thinking, like, let's be real. The Nation of Islam is the only organization that's still around from back then. So he's like, yo, I can't account for everybody right now. That's, that's basically his mindset. Like, yo, we can't account for, for everybody which I understand to a degree because everybody ain't in the nation and you don't know how everybody moving. You know what I mean? Like you don't know why certain things have happened and what people have done for real, for real to be accountable for everybody. You know, so them the different mentalities, man. I really would have wished to see Malcolm get another 30, you know, 30 years I would have loved to see that man just to see how things would have went now um, we getting closer and closer for uh, Mamie and Elise to reveal to Margaret which is the younger daughter that hey you is Bumpy Johnson's granddaughter you see they got uh, some family issues going on because you know maybe she don't really want to let it because she look at her like a daughter but eventually they gonna have to 
they're gonna have to tell and i don't know if they can have kids or not if that came out i don't know you know but maybe they should have you know kid on kid on their own um the other thing that happened of course stella murdered benny and ernie might be back in the door with stella you know i thought she was gonna kill the black dude again after teddy but ernie might be back in the door because he he ultimately you know got the kill on benny but he did it for stella and she seen it so she probably gonna be you know he, he might be back in the door for that but i told y'all stella was crazy and she was gonna shoot benny as soon as he came back i'm like oh yeah this is gonna be up so he gonna get shot for sure because she she um you know she she wanted to avenge teddy's death now the only problem is looking at the previews for the next episode if she didn't mess around and get teddy mama killed then nah stella stella gotta go then or ernie one of them because teddy mama ain't got nothing to do with nothing and she told her don't kill nobody for her son she did even though i wouldn't have been like i'd have been like yeah kill him but she was on some forgiveness stuff so so she really ain't got nothing to do with nothing but from the previews going to the next one it seemed like they didn't wrapped up and ernie gonna try to kill her hopefully he don't be able to to get that kill off hopefully somebody come and and break that up and stop that kill for real Cause that's that's messed up if Teddy Mama died over something she didn't have nothing to do with. Um, but yeah, man, this episode was good because it, it show you that the the issues that's the same issues that's facing us today been facing us for the longest, you know. And Vincent and Bumpy, they relationship starting to to come back a little bit too, you know. Well, they never had a relationship, but they starting to develop a relationship because both of them got daughters. They can relate to that. And Bumpy wasn't playing, man. He went and tied up that cop uh, family. And that's how you got to do it. Instead of paying them, you let them know, like, hey, you could be touched, too. Anybody could be touched, dog. That that that's, that suit you wearing, um, nah, that uniform you got on, no. You could be touched, too. And that's what bumpy let them know but yeah man this was dope now going forward i don't know how vincent gonna feel about uh benny getting knocked right because benny was a made man and this is why ernie was telling her like yo do you know what we didn't did we just murdered a made man so that's gonna be messy um uh elijah and Malcolm, that's going to get crazy because I think we're going to see Malcolm split from the nation. You know, and you see how <laughs> Malcolm named Muhammad Ali Cassius X and then <laughs> uh, Elijah came. Nah, I'm the big dog. I get a name. It's like, uh, it just come off real hater-ish the way they got it set up on real. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> that joke. Oh, my God. Like, that, that part there was really just like, golly. He come off like a hater on that, that part, you know. But, it, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. I know it's, it got to be people in Nation Islam that's watching this and be like, man, I can't. Because they, it, it, I don't know, it's just bad. But, um, great episode. We're going to see that going forward. We're going to see... Um, bumpy holding down the community more so this dope it's been a dope uh season so far man remember if you've been checking out the videos make sure you subscribe the semester almost over i'm trying to get this business uh degree in accounting and uh you know once the semester over things slow up i'm gonna bring the camera back out and i'm gonna be you know talking on the camera where people can see me and stuff because i know uh People be emailing me saying they like that when I bring the camera out. So, but it's Mac the Guru as always. Click that subscribe button. Click that like button because that's how they push the video out. Y'all be easy. Be safe. Peace.